the truth profound, we freeze the drummers here I'll be true, the message clear Go Paul Dallas and Paul, they say the way So writer, leaves the way Time to madness, it's play Gotta wake up, see the light Do you think we've met in a previous lifetime? You and me? Now, there's no such thing. Well, you were just talking about previous lifetimes. That's a reference, not a reality. Learn to okay. identify your references. Learn to identify them. So again, you know, you need to see the movie G.I. Jane with Demi Moore. Okay, that's one of them I think I suggested to you. Yeah, you need to see that. That's one, and there's many more, but I can't remember the other ones. But uh, there's Shrek so many, three, right? one of them. There's so many that will, will that show you exactly what's going on if you can get it. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll try to remember Shrek three. See again, that's your mind. Okay, go watch Shrek. Whatever you figure it out, you do whatever you want. Go watch cartoons. Go watch Beavis and Butthead. Have fun. Would you want to watch Shrek 3 with me? No. It's all okay, duh. Okay, I thought it off her. It's all duh. Okay, so again, I've seen that stuff, and I only... Oh, you've you know, seen it? Don't spoil make, it, bro. No, that makes sense. That's your world, Eric, just like the gaming. You have to learn to separate yourself Shrek from everything. World. Because that's your world, your decision. You see? The Shrek world. And remember this, anytime you want to bring someone else into something, whether it's borrow money or this or that or whatever, you always borrow go to your borrow money. You, you always go to your mother first, alive or dead or whatever in your mind, you go to your mother first because she's the one that brought you here. See, first you go to her. How am I going to go to her if, if she's if everything's if, here and now? See, again, there's your mind. See, there's no barriers. Just like, how do you go to Rebazar? Where's he? Huh? Do you see him every day driving a car, driving a bus? No. See him on the real side. See your mom on the real side, too. You can go talk to her. She's there. She sees you. You just don't see her. She she, she already knows what you're doing. Ask her when you see her. She'll She's tell you. She's out there? She's right here now. Uh, everything is here now. Oh, my God, Mom. I'm sorry I lost the tournament. <laughs> I tried. That's really good acting. Uh, <laughs> it's really good. I've I've seen things on Netflix like that, and that's good acting. God, Bob. He's fine. You're not. <laughs> You're the one that's not fine. She's okay. When you see her, you'll see. She's fine. Yeah. It's your idea. It's not. See? See how distracting these ideas are? You don't need them. I'm going to talk to her tonight. Yes. Decide to see your mom. Call her name before you go to sleep. And decide to go talk to her. Yes. You'll see. You will talk to her. Yes. And she's fine. Probably Rebazar will be standing beside her. I don't know. Whatever the experience is, whatever you need. Yeah, go see your mom. I will, man. I will. Yeah, you'll be fine. And just be okay, okay? Everything's okay. Do you think I could take her to a Burger King? You can do whatever you want, Eric. Drive through Jack in the Box, whatever. Yeah, just, you know, just be okay, Eric. I know, it, it's a lot, but... But then again, it's not like the sun shining. Practice that. Be like the sun shining. Let go and be okay. And then just do what you do every day. Whatever your whatever your routine is, just go do it. Be in the moment and be okay. And things will come to you. Little by little, things will show up. And then you you start to look at them. You go, oh wow, look at this. Look at that. And pretty soon, you become more aware and you're recognizing what's taking place. That's what kids do. They do that every day. I hope she's proud of me, man. I know. We have a challenge, and that is being the adult, uh, the, the uh, you know, the programmed adult. That's a toughie. I've gone through it myself, and I have to deal with it myself, too. 
uh, we've got this certain way about us as we've gotten older, you know, we turn into like uh, rubber people. And, uh, you know, anything that's uh, impressionable or intuitive bounces off of us because we got rubber heads. Yeah, I know. I got to deal with my personal self, too. Yeah. When you take the time to creatively provide something, especially for others, to where it helps them become more aware, then you become more aware. Do you see? When you make a meal for somebody, as an example, you make, um, you know, uh, oatmeal or breakfast cereal, make dinner, mashed potatoes, whatever. Well, you get to eat the mashed potatoes, too, and you get to share it. You see, that's what life is. See, there's no. All of us have whatever we want. You just got to figure it out. Now, creation is tougher because. We're dealing with world controllers that are controlling things and poisoning things. So this is a big challenge. Yeah, it's a big challenge for me, too, just like you. It's all a big challenge. But we can do it. And as we know each other, we help each other, we support each other, just like your parents supported you, and it works better. You see? You're so right, man. Yeah. You're the I best. Know. It's very simple. But we have the advantage because now you know. See, you recognize Rivazar and some of the guides. That's all that matters. It's taken you lifetimes to get here to recognize Rivazar and the real guides. And so you want to hang on to that. You don't want to be distracted by the world. You're in the world. You do what you do. But don't let it hold you and restrict you. You don't have to agree with it. You have you have to deal with it. Of course, you got to wash your clothes, brush your teeth, do your job, whatever. Okay, you got to deal with it. But you don't have to agree to it. No way. You see, because now you're more aware and you'll become more aware by giving up your agreements with things that don't matter. And free yourself. See, that's the freedom that people want, but they don't see it. They think it's, you know, petitioning the politicians so that they can make more money on their minimum wage. Oh, now I'm freer and I can buy more things. No, that's duh. That's a mechanical thing in creation. There's no freedom in creation. All of creation is cause and effect, restriction, agitation. That's it. You're not going to pull anything from creation it's a reference as to the experience that you need here it's a reference that's it it's not real the isness all life is is real it's aware and so as you go over this and you constantly you know it's like the movie transformations i'm assuming maybe you saw that it's transforming yourself from just being a problem into Something that's more flexible and more aware. You see? I'm interested in transformation, but I've never seen the movie. Yeah, they made a bunch of transformation movies uh, years ago. They're, they're dub, but it uh, gives you the idea. So, again, see, I've seen movies are very good documentaries. They, they show you in, in an hour or two. You can see you can have a lifetime of experience in that hour or two. You can. You can see a person's life in two hours, ba their whole basic, the basic idea, not de day to day, moment by moment, but you get the basic idea. In two hours, you can see a lifetime. And so you start taking these things in. And so today we can take advantage of the bad technology that we're that we're dealing with because we don't need technology just like birds they don't need technology and they're fine they fly around they twitter they sing and look at people they're all stressed and weird and polluting themselves which one makes sense yeah see Do you think again birds could, would use twitter if they could they wouldn't want to because they're more aware they're intuitive okay. see, people are not intuitive they're not aware they're programmed so they use twitter because they don't have an imagination or an intuition, so they got to use Twitter. Birds don't need that. We should be birds. Okay. 
Huh? I feel like this is like a big brain plan. We just need to be birds. If uh, you it's mentioned transformation, if we can turn everyone in the world into birds, when I there we go. Everyone's birds, aware. I'm referring to the awareness, not the body type. Have you ever seen anamorphs? Because that's kind of what I have in mind. Well, again, like Burger King, that's your idea, Eric. Have fun. Right. You mentioned that I could, I could watch Shrek with my mom. Yeah, there you go. On the real side, you can watch it. And you know what? It'll take that long. That's it. Would you want to take that long? To would you want to come with and watch Shrek three with us? No. Do you think Kevin would? You can ask him, but uh, the thing is, he's uh, dealing with monsters and weirdos uh, all the time on the real side, so I don't think he'd have time. But you can ask him. Well, you can I ask should him. join him on one of his adventures. Again, you you have the option to ask that. So again, just like you, you have free will. Yo, you Kevin, hit me up. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't think for Kevin. He does his own thinking. He does his own deciding. I don't know you, what the you, next person decides. You think for me? So I figured no. maybe you thought for all the others, too. I'll share with you. Okay, I'm sharing with you. I don't think for you. You do that. What I share, well, you decide how you're going to think. From I forgot I use that specific word. Yeah. See, again, that's your mind. You need to read between the lines and be more flexible, okay? And it's going to take time, Eric, okay? Just think of yourself in a mental institution and they're giving you therapy, which really is not good, but it's it's an idea, okay? Just, okay, just, I'm imagining it. It's actually surprisingly easy. Just kidding, Eric. Okay, what if I tell you a joke? Oh. Yeah, tell okay. me a little joke. I really enjoyed your other, I mean... I didn't enjoy it. I mean, I did enjoy it, but like I didn't understand it. The other joke you told me, but I enjoyed that you said it. So I know. I guess you don't know. understand because again, we you also need to develop your sense of humor. You're too serious about your mental attitudes. You're very serious about it. See again, so you don't get it. So anyhow, I, and I'm sure you probably won't get this at all. Okay, so here here's the idea. Please don't interrupt until I'm done. I will. Okay. All right. So. Uh, there's a farmer and he's on his farm and he's out in his front yard and doing whatever, you know, uh, cutting the roses or whatever. And then all of a sudden this fellow drives up in this car and the guy gets out of the car and comes over to the farmer and says, hello, I'm the county and health inspector and I'm here to inspect your property. And, uh, the farmer says, okay, go right ahead, inspect the property. But don't go to the the field over here on the right. Uh, don't go over there. And the, uh, the county inspector reaches into his pocket and pulls out his badge. Like a policeman, he pulls out his badge and he says to the farmer, see this badge? With this badge, I can do whatever I want. And you can't tell me what to do. I'm the county inspector. I'm here. I'm going to inspect your whole property. And I'll be back. So the inspector goes out there and the farmer says, OK, all right, go ahead. So the inspector goes out there around the property. Then finally, he goes over to the field on the right because the farmer has acres and acres. And so the farmer's just doing what he's doing in the front yard. Then all of a sudden, he hears this screaming and yelling. And then he looks over to the right in the right field and he sees the big bull with big horns, you know, like a bullfighter bull, chasing the uh, inspector, and the inspector's running for his life and screaming and, and yelling and whatever. And so the farmer puts his hands up to his face and says, show him your badge, show him your badge. <laughs> you don't get it. You don't I, get I think it. I get it. Yeah. So... You know, it's kind of an interesting joke. I heard it a while ago, and I thought that's really cute. So, again, it's like, you know, people don't listen. And, and, and that's like all of us. we got to go through it. And once you go through it, then you see it. In other words, the idea is that so you think your badge means something? Well, show it to the bull. It don't mean nothing to him.
So it's a joke. Show them your badge. Show them your badge. It ain't going to work. <laughs> so whatever. Okay, there you go. The joke of the week, Eric. Thank I really want to hear another joke from you every week. This is, I feel like this is good. No. That's I feel it. like I'm developing a sense of humor one week at a time. Again, 50 years, Eric. Wait, it's going to take me 50 years to develop a sense of humor? I'm 76. It's taken a while, yeah. Do you have a sense of humor? <laughs> yeah, my own humor, and whether whether other people get it or not, whatever, but uh, they usually do. I'll tell you another one for the fun of it, okay? This is a live one. Okay, so Ava and I went to the Mexican farmer's market on Sunday. Okay, this is where the Mexicans get together in a certain place in the town of Primo Tapia, and everybody brings their stuff. And most of it is like shoes and clothes and uh, computers and, you know, radios and cell phones and all, all this stuff. And then there's a few vendors that sell fruits and vegetables. And this is fun because I love the Mexicans. They're, they're so sincere and they're just sweethearts. They're very humble people. Uh, and so there's about three or four people. There's a couple of women and a guy. And so we bought some of their stuff, some tomatoes and cucumbers, whatever. And so I asked the, I asked the lady, uh, I said, you know, I showed her the cucumber and I said, KS, uh, KS uh, Palabra uh, in Espanol. That means what is the word for this? In, in Spanish, because I, I said this cucumber, que es palabra en español. And she said something like uh, papita. And I said to her, oh, papita, mi, mi uh, amigos llama. And then she started laughing. She really started laughing. They all started laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Because it sounded like a person's name, like a girl or something like that. So I just thought I'd say that. And they all started laughing. So, in other words, my friend's name is Cucumber. Real joke. Yeah, I made it up myself. I do this all the time. And I don't even it's speak. It's pretty clever. Yeah, because I do this all the time because I love the Mexicans. And the first thing that I look for is how to get them to laugh. And I just know a few words of Spanish, but I get them to do it every time. Could you get me to laugh, though? You're serious, right? Well, I thought we were just talking about that, but yeah, I, I am pretty serious a lot of the time. Serious or joking? Oh, serious, I guess. I see, you're always serious. See, that's your problem. You need to be joking. See, again, you keep identifying. Oh, okay, wait, I got, I think, okay, I understand. Dwayne, yeah. you are an idiot, but I'm just joking. <laughs> Say whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. They're just words. So again... <clears throat> that was the first thing that came to mind. Have you ever read Mad Magazine? You look on the internet, I'm assuming maybe you've seen a movie or a TV show or something, something in your life? Uh, well, I watched Shrek and Shrek 2. I watched Back at the Barnyard and Barnyard. Right. I watched one episode of Seinfeld, but I didn't really like it, so I dropped it. Well, it takes a few minutes to understand Seinfeld like anything. In other words, I remember when Seinfeld first came out many years ago and I watched uh, some of it or whatever, and I didn't really dig it either because I didn't dig the sitcoms too much. But over the years, I began to appreciate it. Val and I used, would sit down and watch this. We watched, we went through the nine years of seasons five times already, over and over. And actually... Every time, and we know what's going to happen in the episodes. We know them by heart, and it becomes funnier every time. Seinfeld is great. From my point of view, I use it as it's very good, and Seinfeld, uh, Jerry Seinfeld, is very witty, uh, very witty guy, and his old episodes are great. Yeah, but you have to understand it. you, you got to understand it like anything. So, again, it's like understanding what Rebazar is showing you, Eric, Change. 
change the mental hold the truth unfold the storms are guide a cosmic drive break the chains the mental hold the truth unfold the story told we be strong a united front against the darkness we will hunt signs to break the simulation spell with new you power we are skibbity new you break it free from the matrix Forces lurking, reptilian scheme Tight lies that control a twisted dream Through you together we rise above Shattering the lies, spreading risky I knew you're staring at the thing to be done Thing to be